Back live at Daytona on board with Juan Pablo Montoya clear track in front of him. We're one lap from the restart and it was a hairball if you are working for target Chip Ganassi racing. Watch this. Memo Rojas with the blue nose followed just inches behind by Montoya as the flag waves and watch them down into turns one two and three. Juan Pablo oh well Rojas gives a bit of a bubble there but I think he was helped by and Montoya instantly Montoya. looking left oh, yeah. and right. I tell you, look at this, goes down into turn three, goes to the outside, then the inside, and stays there, forcing Rojas to go wide on the exit there. He didn't want to go over, the, over that curb. That allows Max Patterson, the number nine car, to get right alongside him as well. Now let's go on board with the O2. Remember, Juan Pablo Montoya was told by the team to tone it down a little bit. This is his teammate ahead of him. Yeah, this is turning it down now, Bob. So he goes to the outside. Yeah. Gets a good line there. Rojas is trying to block the inside, but he doesn't know. Juan Pablo just goes boom down there. We saw that very early on the race with the two team cars, 23. Martin Bundle tried that with his teammate, but once Juan Pablo got by, off he went. Look at the gap. He's already opened up over Rojas. Rojas now being hounded by the number nine car with Max Pappas, who's no pussycat either. Absolutely. Max made his name by coming here to the Rolex 24 at Daytona many years ago, driving Giampiero Moretti's Ferrari 333 SP. And in the late stages of the race, he was just thrashing that Ferrari, cutting qualifying laps, trying to run down the race leaders. I believe it was Wayne Taylor at that time.